All right, it is that time in the uh, after the show show where Brian realizes he's lost like 30 pages of his notes. No, I got them. He's got them right now. He usually has my pen in his pocket. So now he's going to uh, go do his radio show right. with uh, Judge Andrews. And why don't you tell the real reason why I'm leaving? Because you don't because, like Lynn? Because of the restraining order. Right. You are not too seated. much chemistry. Oh, too much, too much chemistry. chemistry. That's right. Stop we're gonna light the, the we're gonna light up the stop there the others, oh, baby. Boy. All right, see if you can ignite the same fire with these two. All okay. Right? <laughs> up top. Like all royalty, let's they like to high five. Yeah, let's, let's talk a little bit I about the royalty. I thought it was bowing. Thing. How? Let's not. How, how are you royalty again? I'm not royalty. You are I Lady a, Lynn. No, I am yeah. Lynn Forrester from Oradell, New Jersey. Weren't you once upon a time <laughs> a lady? Like lady. lady. That is an honor that my husband received from the Queen. Right. So it's completely... Your lovely. husband made you a lady. He made me a lady. So luck me a lady so tonight. Me. Okay, how was he able to make you a lady? Because those are the rules in England. They don't apply here. Uh -huh. It doesn't count. It's not true. Right. So when you go to Great Britain, so, you're Lady Lynn. When you're here on the curvy couch, you're Lynn. I'm Lynn from New <laughs> okay. Jersey. But you're also a, a, a political what exit? person. Who, who, Let's ask the lady who arranged it. Quite literally, the lady, Lynn Forrester de Rothschild. I love that name. And you betcha she's here to tell us all about it. I grew up in a middle-class family in New Jersey. My parents worked two jobs to put four children to, through college, law school, and medical school. And we were told the American dream could be ours because we live in a great country. And I have lived the dream. Because and what they're saying, the Obama people, you just heard uh, that congresswoman suggest that Lady Baroness de Rothschild, who is that to be talking about elitism when, when you are obviously uh, among the elite right now? See, this is so sad when the Democratic Party plays the class card and they try to divide America and they try to say that somehow my opinion is less worthy than another person's because I have this wonderful life. I have a wonderful life. I want John McCain and Sarah Palin in the White House so other people can have that wonderful because life. The Democratic Party puts the choice issue around women's neck like a noose. We are the only ones who can protect you. It is protected. We've had eight years of George Bush and choice has gone nowhere. Stop using that issue to scare people into voting for the Democratic Party. Where I come from, audacity is not a good thing. It's modesty and simplicity and being in politics okay. to help people, not to advance yourself. And we don't need a government that believes that our money is their, is their money. We need a government that is there to be for everyone, to help create jobs. But no, 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 but here's what Barack Obama is saying. And my children are now in a Barack Obama America, if that happens. My children are going to have to say to their children, work hard, play by the rules, and living in New York City, you can keep 35% of everything that you earn above a ceiling that Barack Obama has set. So he is putting a cap on the American dream. So you're, you're definitely, uh, like Joe Lieberman, in that uh, McCain camp. I am. And no regrets. What kind of reaction are you getting from your friends in the DNC and from Hillary Clinton and her support? Have you spoken to Hillary Clinton no, about this? No, of course I haven't. I haven't spoken to Hillary Clinton, and I'm sure a lot of people are mad at me. But I do care more about my country than my party. I think if Barack Obama is elected and this economy tanks, my dear friend who I love, Hillary Clinton, Senator McCaskill, who you had on earlier, are going to have a lot of explaining to do. So I, I want to know about what it's like, though, uh, where Lynn from New Jersey, she's a, she's a longtime Democrat, and then suddenly, boom, 2008 comes along, and suddenly, what the hell happened to you? You're a Republican? Well, you know... Uh, because I, you, you see the same people, yeah, and they go, what are you doing? Well, it was, it was a surprise to me, frankly. What tribalism exists between the parties. Exactly. Um, that because I thought Barack Obama was too far to the left and I identified more with John McCain, Moderate. I was somehow unworthy. Um, some people were really mad at me. My friends are my friends. 
Right. They they agree with me or they disagree with me. But still, me. when it comes to politics, people, th those are the arguments that you have with friends and family that sting the most. Yeah, but a lot of my friends are coming back and saying, my God, you were really right. We that thought was, he was going to be more moderate. That was my question is, your Democratic friends, what do they tell you now? And by the way, you're still friends with Hillary Clinton, so I won't make you tell me what she tells well, you. Well, hopefully there's not a litmus test on politics for friendship. No, no, no. no, no. But, 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 uh, that... now, Ronald Reagan might have said it right. The Democratic Party left me. I didn't leave the Democratic Party. This country needs All principled right. and courageous Lynn, let leaders. me ask you finally. I, I mean, are you, I, I understand you're still a Democrat. You're not going to leave the party. Right. Uh, to some people, invariably, it's going to sound like you're bitter. Hillary Clinton didn't get the nomination. This is your way of getting even. You know what, Campbell? Barack Obama went and he called the people who, who have guns and cling to their religion bitter. The people out, you know, who are the rednecks or whoever are bitter. If bitter is the easiest way for you to rationalize that I truly, with all my heart, believe that J John McCain will be a great president, then call me bitter. But it doesn't really advance the dialogue, all right. Campbell. Sorry. <laughs> Well, What's going to make the Congress in 2018 decide to pay yeah. for the giveaways of 2010? No kidding. It doesn't add up. And All that's right. not a Republican or a Democratic idea to me. That's, that's just, just math. That's just math. That's just like good old American common sense. There you go. <laughs> All right, Lynn, don't call her a lady or she'll uh, get you in a headlock. Thanks for joining us. Look at that, lady. Lady. Try it. What are you going to do, lady? What are you going to do, lady? What are you going to do? Oh, 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 Lynn Forrester to Rothschild, thanks for coming in. Nice to see you. You're going to get a little grief, you know that. I know. All right, I'm getting it all the time, particularly from the likes of you, <laughs> the liberal elite. <laughs> Stand You're the elite, not me. All right.